Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And listen, we have a lot of strange been going on in the family here, but we are definitely doing some very serious work in the background. Uh, I am going to be releasing a video that is going to, no doubt, shock you to the core. Uh, there is truly a battle that scientists and Pentagon brass are preparing for that is far beyond that of battles between nations. And at the same time, there are those on this earth that have sided with one side or the other. Typically, I share that type of information on our Patreon channel at Israeli News Live, but this time I am going to make it public. It's that serious. The greatest battle ever to be fought is very close at hand. And oddly enough, Planet X does have something to do with this. I know personally of the scientists and the historians in the government that are frantically searching ancient documents of how this battle went down thousands of years ago because they know that we're about to be at war. In a war that is not fought with just bullets. As Paul said, we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against spirits and principalities, and spiritual wickedness in high places. I've been privileged to be part of helping to research ancient documents, finding the information that might help in this battle that we're about to face. And it is a biblical battle beyond proportions that you could ever imagine. At any rate, real quick, I want to turn your attention, though, to some of the things that are going on here on the Earth that really seem to be alarming. I actually have set just the last 48 hours and at least 4.0 or higher in earthquakes here on the Earth. If you will notice there, we don't generally see a lot of earthquakes around India, Afghanistan, Pakistan, uh, Uzbekistan, places like that, Iran but we have a large number of earthquakes happening in that region, not to mention an unprecedented number of earthquakes of large magnitudes happening down in the South Pacific, also the North Pacific there, uh, all the way up to Japan. Just a huge number of quakes there. Look at some of the sizes here. Uh, 5.0, but like I said, everything is 4.0 or larger on my screen. Uh, 5.3 uh, going over 5.0 eight hours ago down near Malaysia, uh, Papua New Guinea, uh, you know, just east of Indonesia, the Philippines, etc. Again, unprecedented. Then I decided, okay, wow, what's going on in other parts of the world? Of course, naturally at La Palma, still a lot of quakes going on at La Palma. When you come to the United States, though, Looks like the whole Western Hemisphere is quiet. But look down there from Mexico all the way down to Panama Canal area there. Just the screen is lit up with seismic activity. So if you kind of zoom in a little bit, uh, it is. It's like nuts. And these, again, are only 4.0 or bigger. I'm not doing the little bitty stuff, 3.0 and stuff like that. Then the screen would be just loaded with earthquakes. But... There, I actually, yesterday I'd counted, up the, uh, I think it's like between that and Bonner, California area there, like 30-something quakes just there along that entire Mexico down to El Salvador, uh, all the way down Costa Rica, et cetera, off the coast of Panama, large number of quakes. I don't know what all that means, but I find that interesting. I wanted to share that with you. Now, again, as I said to you, the brass is preparing for a battle like an unheard of precedent that really is a spiritual battle. And they know it's spiritual too, guys. But this troubles me when I see someone like Michael Flynn calls for U.S. to have one religion, sparks outrage from Jewish groups. But this is on the Times of Israel. One world religion happens to be an alien agenda. So you need to think about that. What side are you going to be on when this comes down? And it is divided even in the government. That's why there are battles between nations. That's why Jesus said there would be wars and rumors of wars and nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. Hmm. 
A kingdom against kingdom is not what we think. It's not, that battle is not an earthly battle. The kingdoms are Satan's kingdom against God's kingdom, the Father's kingdom. And I'm beginning to really believe that. But Michael Flynn is on the side of a one world religion. That's not from the Father. That's from Satan's kingdom. So that is a major red flag for me when I saw that there. I don't know what I had this up here. Let me just see if that was, oh yeah, the meteorite shower is going to have a lot of meteorite showers coming up. I did think that that's interesting. Uh, there is an issue coming up, and I'll just share this with you so you're aware of it. Uh, and again, this is something normally I do over on Patreon only, but while we're here and I already have the screen up, I'll go ahead and just share this with you guys as well. Still don't know what's going to happen in November. They are actively working on that situation I shared with you as far as the subseduction zone and off Puerto Rico. Um, they are optimistic that they're going to be able to resolve that, but they are facing a new issue coming in the month of December. We have a comet coming through that is going to be bouncing off some of these meteorites that are uh, part of what you're seeing already, these meteorite showers and things like that, that we have during November and December. And uh, the scientists do expect some of those to be knocked off course, possibly hitting the Earth. Uh, I don't think there's anything of any large size when that comes, you know, but it still could cause some damage, especially if it hits any kind of populated area. It might be a rock, especially if it's a rock, say the size of a car hits a populated area. Yeah, you could have some serious fatalities from that. Not anything, you know, like extinction level but could cause some problems so uh, they're going to keep me in the loop of what they're doing they're trying to do the projections on it right now the scientists are very busy trying to figure those things out as well uh, i do have some videos to put together for patreon some very interesting things that we were in discussion about but right now uh our meeting that we had the other day very very serious and i am going to be putting that video together i'm hoping by tonight i can have that out if not by tomorrow um, about the greatest battle Pentagon Brass has ever faced. I'm Steve Benoon, you're listening to Israeli News Live.